coming to work, I have no idea it's about to get worse. Yes, the underground, unlike the new team, the phones you have now is way more powerful than we had in 2001. Many people were using their phones don't realize the phone stopped working because the antenna for the North Tower broadcast the signal out. Now we do it all by satellite. Things have changed. But back then, this was telling you, you had a brand new phone, it wasn't working. You're like, what the hell's going on? And I told you because the antenna was knocked out. Right. Now here comes the second plane that makes everyone realize now it's no accident. The second tower comes down first. I give nothing but the facts. The building drops down to bedrock. It can't go any further. What will it do now? Spreads out. It's called a domino effect. The building beside this will get knocked down. Now he knows this, she might know this, but you don't understand this. I got a brand new 1959 Cadillac and a brand new 2022 Cadillac. I run into cars into each other. Only one car is going to drive away every single time, no matter what. Right. Which one would you think it would be? The 20, which one? The 1950. The old car beats the new car every single time. Yep. The way it's made, watch what I show you. That base building right there is a 1902 Cass Gilbert. It was 101 years old on 9-11. 101 years old. Five different floors kept on fire. But because it's made out of terracotta stone and it's built like a fortress, it survived. Other buildings are gone, and I can prove it to you right before your eyes. And you've never been here before. You're looking at this hotel, it's called the Marriott. Look how the windows come down and suddenly stop. You know why they did that? There were small apartment buildings here that looked like this one over here, on the other side of the hotel. They didn't want people in there. Yeah, in the hotel, we can into people's apartments. So you built the windows up there higher to be at the roof line. Now look at the building beside it, it's under the roof line. Look at that big empty spot in this hotel, came up in 2006, this happened in 2001. You guys know this, right. you have to build a foundation before you put anything up. The right. foundation, I'm always talking about Mom and about Dad tell you, education is your foundation. Sports secondary, music secondary. Something might be unnecessary, but you can learn it anyway because you can pick up a skill. Oh yes, so there's some people are natural cooks, yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. All you had to do is that, and then you go, you pick it, how do you do that? Because it's natural, it's built into your mom and pap, yes. Others come here and I tell them this. When the first plane hit, some people were told to go back to work. American Express made that mistake. Some people don't know the story. I not only take you in the building, I let you see it, but you see it on the internet and go, oh, how could they do that? Because most New Yorkers don't look up. They didn't see what hit the building, they just assumed right. it was a little plane. Right. Well, first of all, it's way up in the sky. How are you going to get water up there? It's not just sitting up there. So you still have to put the fire out, even if it's a little plane. But it's a cross-country jet meant to go to, all the way to California. Most New Yorkers have no idea they're looking at the towers. Here comes the second plane that gets hit from behind you. Watch what I tell you. I get people don't believe me. The two towers from east to west will look like two. West towards California, east towards Europe. Always see two towers. North towards Canada, south towards Florida, Mexico, the two towers look like one. The alignment of the planes come with the towers, they're trying to knock them over like dominoes to Wall Street. Do you know how close we are to Wall Street? Her eyebrow popped up, so you know money's on Wall Street. You heard Wall Street, you like, Wall Street? I tell me, I read your face, your face tell me when you get enlightened. I talk three blocks away, the financial, the towers start to go to fall over like a domino. You shut down Wall Street, you shut down the world. Before 9-11, we had all the eggs in one basket for convenience. For convenience, the banking system, your insurance system, we're always right there. You never been supposed to have everything in one basket. On 9-11, the terrorists figured out, we can knock that building over like a domino. Right. What they didn't know is inside facts. One, I'm looking at one tower. And I bet ten dollars on guys that have no idea how many top, how many elevators in one tower of the World Trade Center. How many pennies in the American dollar? One hundred. Twenty-five on the north side. Twenty-five on the east side. Twenty-five on the west side. Twenty-five on the south side. Four-sided building. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Four times twenty-five is a hundred. There's a hundred elevators in each tower. That's what broke the plane apart. That's why some people don't realize, you listen to this five minute story, they're telling you the truth. How can they see fire on the first floor when a plane hit way up in the night? It came down the elevator shaft. Yeah. The fuel came down the elevator shaft. Now it's a metal frame building that's heating up like an iron. 
You know this. I get people don't believe me. 1,000 degrees. Thank you. This metal frame building will heat up quicker than a brick. The building will resist the bricks. It's insulation. It can be red hot on one side and cool as hell on the other side. You can't do that with a metal building. Right. It radiates the heat. It travels up. It's melting that building down. But here comes the second plane that comes lower. Listen to what I'm telling you, nothing but the truth. The first plane, only 10 floors to the roof. The second plane, 33 floors to the roof. Three times as much weight. Time, temperature, you're right. We'll bring that building down. That's where we lost so many firefighters. We're focused on trying to get people out. And others don't realize this. When your brain panics, your father cry like, like a herd of cattle or be scared stiff. Because your brain's just panic, you don't know what to do. Now you either run with the crowd, or your brain says, what should I do? The instincts come naturally, so people get out the way, they're moving. There's a whole bunch of New Yorkers who ran to the subways to go home. Yes, they never rehearsed for nothing like this. I want to go to my safety zone. Right. The only way they know to go home is the subways. Right. That's why I told you that people killed in the subways who didn't know another way home, but that way. The plan B, the Brooklyn Bridge, the Manhattan Bridge, get you out. A lot of people ran to go home. The building comes down and snatched the underground. That's why it's called Ground Zero. No one comes out, no one's found. The last part is this. That is the fifth tallest building in the world. The tallest building right now in North America. You know how tall that building is. Oh, I like when the young one's eyes say, no, I don't. <laughs> he knows how tall it is. She knows how tall it is, but they don't realize they know how tall that building is. I'm going to prove to you that you know how tall that building is. It's called Illuminati knowledge. Listen to me. I'm looking for America's first eye. It's on the 4th of July. What year would it be in American history? That would be that new building size. Now the old building, 1,377 feet. The Willis Building in Chicago, Sears Tower, 1,457 feet. This building is bigger than both of them, has two sevens in the date that you learned in school. Why did we set off fireworks on 4th of July? Yes. 1776? Yes! I had that building in 1776 on purpose. I get right, people who have no idea it's why it's called the Freedom Tower. How many letters in the word freedom? Seven. People have no idea the height is done on purpose. The Statue of Liberty is holding a tablet on the tablet, Roman numerals, 4th of July, 1776. The other part of the Statue of Liberty people don't realize about, she has slave chains. Do you know what slave chains are? Shackles. Where are the slave chains on the Statue of Liberty? I didn't even know there was any. I love that. <laughs> Honesty. <laughs> you had a beat. Listen to me. I'm looking at the 13 colonies. They were all slave states at the time. And it wasn't called the United States of America. They were the British colonies in England. 13 colonies. They all money was coming from slavery. When we realized the slavery was wrong, and I tell people this, it's the whole world still so dealing with dealing with that money situation. There's other parts of the world so you got to stop slavery. America doesn't stop to 1864. It's called the Civil War. At that time, the document is done, but on paper, it's not really accomplished. We know this back in the, but anyway, they give the statue to America from what country? Yes, I get people don't know this. That's, 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 that's. Legend. They tell it's the broken the slavery and keep it that way for everyone to have liberty. How many letters in liberty? She has no business getting bad marks in school. None at all. If she getting bad marks in school, she being boy happy and lazy. Cut it out. <laughs> Teachers pick on you because they see your potential. And I can get this. You're a good student. Yes, you are. If you make five or six more students learn from you, I'm not going to bust my butt on knuckleheads. I'm going to get you to get in line because they're going to be right behind you. Like ducks in a row. So some things can see your potential. They're not picking on you. They know you can. Yes, you're going to make my job easier. History. Yes. She I learned this very part. How are you? Good to see you. Behind that building is Liberty. And the last part is this. You know what it means? How tall it is? Yes, yeah, American independence. That freedom is around the world. The connection with this, seven times seven is 49, times seven, 843. Look how many firefighters died in one day, focus on getting people out. You didn't notice that number. 
I love our honesty. What? Come here, Jal. Oh, come here, come here, come here. Everyone to bow. You look around this memorial, you're going to see 343. On purchase of fire truck, you're going to see. On guys' uniform, you're going to see. If they get back to the last thing you have here, it's very much a bad thing. Have a nice dog, can we? That's interesting. Three years, man. Three years, four years old. Coming to help. Things you get at Grange. She learned like a sponge. She got no business getting bad marks in school. You hear me out? Right, I hear you. See you later, guys. Take care, take care, all the other stuff is a laziness. Stop downing yourself. You don't know guests. Mom and dad tell you, you ain't gonna be the fastest, you ain't gonna be the first. But as long as you try, you always get the eye. But sometimes you can try with your own instinct. Stop doubting yourself. You can guess the right answer. You ain't gonna tell nobody you guess. Say, so I study hard, I try hard. <laughs> and dad said never to quit. Always give your dad back. So mom gets it automatically. That's right, like that's your right. Act like your, oh yeah, mom's gonna get it no matter what. <laughs> Even if this built is in there, they always give it. I can tell some people this, it's mother nature. Right. When the world get tore up, he said a woman did it. Oh my God. Yeah. What? We might put it together. A woman will put it together and tear it up too. He said, now, what you like? People come here when I point out the women, I tell them, some of them realize when they're told to go home, I didn't train for that. I didn't train for that. Her name was Captain Mazda, the highest ranking female officer that died in 9-11. She saved the 121 kids by realizing, I'm not going to have to tell them to back with, Whatever hit that building is bad, we get now. Right. Because a lot of people thought it was an accident and a little Cessna plane, that ain't gonna be no problem. That is instinct to save all those lives. Right. She goes back into that building now realizing the second tower's gonna be first tower to fall. She's in the blast zone. So a lot of people were killed just trying to get people out of the building. We didn't know another way to go. Right. And we realized on 9-11 we gotta train people for this. This should have never ever happened. People come here and I tell them, you can walk around this all you want to. Don't be afraid to ask. What are they putting back? Some things are symbolic. Other things you go, get out of here. It's connected to other pieces too. Like I told you, the number seven is here. Building number seven is the last number four. Last shall be first, first shall be last. You look at the building, it looks like it's flat. Compared to the other buildings going up, it's the smallest one that's already done. So you got your fingers on your hand. Your smallest finger is done. What is your longest finger? Watch this science. The sun rises from what direction? The sun rises from from the east. Listen to him. I like. I like what you look like. You like what? We know. Sometimes we just sit back and let you burn. We won't want you to burn and crash. But we're going to sit back and see how you take it. Right, and right. You know, yeah, sometimes that's what we do. If we show you all the way all the time, you'll be just, oh, what's this? What's that? You're going to let you try on your own sometimes. Right, right. And I like the way you looked at him, like, what's the answer, Dad? Yes! From the east. It sets in the west. The Oculus is that piece people need to understand what it is. But this is your mark, your sundown. And every September, the shadow of this cast onto that with the reflection. Light reflects and casts it back comes on that every September. On September 11th, it'll be right in the middle. So I tell you, go in the Arctic and look straight up, you're gonna see a hole through the seal. But it's the eye that's looking up. That is the middle finger pointing up to the sun. Why? Because everyone comes to America to get a hand. Everyone comes to, I, I tell some people this, you can be rich in another country, and that country get in trouble with you, but you're gonna come to. Come right here! It's, it's, it's a document history, I tell them like this. He was a man, the kingdom, his old kingdom was born in the bus. That's somebody called me, I know what it is. Oh. <laughs> but I have a little answer machine to tell them, come meet me at the firehouse. People come around, well, ladies, I met you 10 years ago. What you taught my kids about history don't be a mystery, they shocked their school teacher because the school teacher didn't know about the shackles. How many links is between the left leg and the right leg? I have a feeling at seven. It's broken at seven. What's the original columns we just talked about? 13. 13. Now, the break seven goes with this. I'm looking at the people that signed the Declaration of Independence. The first state is known as Delaware. Guess who number seven was? You're doing good already. The seventh state is signed the Declaration of Independence. Where you at? A guy bet me $100. 
He didn't believe that that was too much of a coincidence. Well, I said, we're going to get the money. I said, I'm going to phone this up and I'll give it to my son. He's at Howard University right now. But I got to tell you, history, don't let it be a mystery. He said, that cost me $100. A lesson learned. Right. <laughs> lesson learned. He was like, no, no. He's like, no way. It can't be. Like, it was too much of a coincidence. Right, I'm right. More than a coincidence is science. And a lot of times things happen for a reason. Mom and dad tell you that. The first boy's going to break your heart. Mom and dad tell you this. Don't do keep it just up. Let them know. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> they don't know how to deal with it, but how to move around it. That's in the world. I told the girl this. She said, um, you're the best teacher I ever had. I said, look, no teacher ever asked you questions of what you were looking at. They were telling you what this is, telling you what that. And I asked you what the wall was. And he was like, people die. I said, those are pictures of all the stuff they were doing before they died. What? All these people up here died? Yes, he's all firefighters. She didn't realize it's, it's, it's neck. I said, yeah, right. they touch it, but they all were doing something before the towers came down and killed them. All these? This is just 323 in one day. Right. And, and dawn done, like, boom. Here she's at 17, 18 years old, and no one ever taught her to look at something and ask questions, but to learn from it. So all these years, no one ever. I said, teachers I had were like, boring. I said, oh, that's crazy. I'll make you just not only look at the book, read the book, but go back in the book and find something. Put yourself in that situation. What would you do? So now you have hindsight. You know what to do. But when you're learning from it, like a book, sometimes mom and dad ask you a book. It's not punishment. No, it's not. Reading is not punishment. They give me a chance to read and get your own interpretation. I did my son a trick like this. I let him look at the movie. You guys already know this old school movie about how the black family just owned the daughter, because she is so light. I tell people, I don't like to tell people the name, because when you hear it, you go, get out of here. Mm. And I tell people, it happened in real life. And when he read the story, he said, Dad, it is better when I read the book compared to the movie. I said, yeah, because we looked at the movie first, and you kind of got it. When you right. got to the book, it just opened all the other things up. Right. I said, I said yeah. I said, a book would do the same thing about me. Don't think you compared it to, no. It's a version of it. But the book will give you the details and imagination that'll make you look at the whole picture completely different. You'll be like, what? He did that ever since. Little boy, Harry Potter, he was picking out all the books. And I tell him that. See, now you're learning from the book? He said, yes. I said, now do that with things that you want to build. He said, what? He said, something you want to build? There's a book about it. No. I said, yes. He got in the airplanes. History, don't let me miss it. Good to see you. Hello. There's some people I haven't seen in you years. You listen to this come man, on. he is a genius. He's a nice day. Come on, yeah. right? Good, right. thank you. Thank you for listening. Tell him what your dad do. He's a firefighter. See, I <laughs> felt that vibe. I tell you this. There's jobs to do is now about getting rich. From day one, he didn't think about being a fireman and getting rich. He about helping people. Let me take a picture All of you guys. Facts. That's power. That's like a teacher. A teacher can bust her butt. But it's been that one student to make the night and makes it that. Then he comes back 10, 12 years later and you realize you was the teacher that turned me out. Not my mother, not my father. You did that. And they'll give that teacher props. But it's actually this from day one. But I can tell you, you don't think about it at the minute, something happens. Yep, I felt that about him. I was like, wait a minute, let's out There's people who walk by here, I have no idea what they're looking at. No. One policeman says, Harry, when you're not here, I get upset. I said, why? Because you're my information man. People ask for direction, I have no problem. They ask me information. I say, hey, guy, you're not going to lie to you. The lady wants to know why the people were jumping out the building. It's a metal frame building. They're not going to let yourself burn. It's a knee jerk reaction to get away from the heat. We just had that conversation. They just, to, we just talked about that. Your, your, your brain works a certain way. Yes! You can't withstand it. Uh, you See, he appreciates what I do. Yeah. You ready for this? Years, years back, I had a guy who said I was trying to panhandle money. He takes me to court. The judge said, I didn't read about you. You're the world chasing them, man. You just give up man. You don't even sell books or pictures or nothing like that. You just educate people. I said, what's that? I said, I tried to tell the officer to call his sergeant, mm -hmm. but he's just insisting that he sold me to sell a book. No, the lady showed me the book. I opened it up, and I told her this misinformation. The place here is, is, is dated wrong, but I wouldn't pay no more than five bucks for it. The guy went $20 for the book. Right. I guess he got us in the post. I said, why are you writing me up a ticket? I said, no, I don't sell nothing, no. When I go to court, like I told the guy, you be surprised who knows. And the judge said, oh, you're the world chaser in there. What you doing in my Right. <laughs> so I said, I know you don't sell nothing. You said ticket. I said, this officer, I told him to call this sergeant. He won't leave me. It's the ticket. Ticket dismissed. 
I want this officer in my courtroom. Right. Days later, you get called, and I didn't know this. There's certain places, judges can't spank you a certain way because of the union. But he can get you other ways with punishment. They gave this man pigeon duty. I had to find out from a lawyer. You know, police officers get pigeon duty, what's that? Oh, they must have said something not breaking the law like, but to think about what they do before whatever they did. Right. So, what's the pigeon duty? They sent them by the Brooklyn Bridge, Manhattan Bridge, and whatever pigeon droppings come down, they have to write it down at what time. So you get five pigeons shooting at one time, he has to walk over there and that. And sometimes you get on his uniform. Okay. <laughs> There's no way to shit, they go like, but it makes them think about what he did. Right. So get out of here, that's the dead thing. And the unit can't do nothing. It's like, yeah, time out, time out. Right. You think about your office. Yeah. So I was like, wow. I've never seen that cop again to like, 10th anniversary. Yeah, I told you, the 10th anniversary, 15th anniversary, and then the 20th anniversary was in COVID. Uh -huh. A lot of people didn't show up. I see him and he said, no. I learned the lesson from you, always to analyze before you criticize. Right. Or well, jump to conclusion, because everyone's saying this, but if you find out the facts, it's not like that. I had another cop tell me, one time I had a guy come back, oh, that black guy over there telling lies, people running the wrong way, all the buildings were here, it's all a conspiracy. He said, nah, now he's talking about Harry. He said, no. He pushed him my day, put it under him. That's the world chasing him. He goes, yeah, that's the guy. He said, now listen to him, on his own phone. Oh, I said, you just heard part of it and just walked away. Or you might, because I get conspiracy guys coming all the time. I said, listen to the facts. Connect your own dots, listen to the facts. Right. Some things that people get, oh, what? I said, now walk up inside here, you're going to see a coning spear and a soldier on horseback. But what does the soldier on horseback got to do with this? Read what it says on the plaque. Right after 9 11, we had soldiers in Afghanistan, boots on the ground, but they had no real big weapons. They asked for 12 horses. They tore the Taliban up and they made a movie about it called 12 Strong. Right. The BS. That was our gut reaction. No, this is a true story. What? On horses. In the 21st century. So I told you, you gotta go back to Stone Age just to cure a problem. But it was more symbolic than anything else. But they wasn't expecting it to come back that quick. It was with that. Because I told you this, this starts a whole new can of worms if you look at it the wrong way. Right. A whole new can of worms if you look at it the wrong way. And I'll scream on the ones that tell them this. Everyone that came to America is illegal. Unless you're a Native American who was born here. Everyone else came here without a passport, <laughs> without an invite. Didn't you say that not too long ago? Yeah. Oh, I, I wake him up. I, 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 had a, I had a law professor who went to Arthur. This is out. If you go to the reality of this, where you're born at is where you're living. You can't come to another place and say, this is your land if you're not born there. You're not native to them, and you're like, yes! You come from somewhere else! <laughs> you're like, yes! Now, because your technology take over, and you push back it. But back in the old days, if the blacks would have had guns, but the white folks had guns, it'd be a different outcome. Way bigger, because now you're fighting on even terms. That's the last technology was there. We wouldn't teach our young kids something until we thought they were old enough to get in trouble. Now your kids learn so easily you get in trouble and they don't even realize you're in trouble. I said, yes, because everything's like right there. Before we go through all that hidden knowledge, it's your time to learn this now. Yes. I told you this, it was done like that for coaches and years, but now technology changed it all. Some kids are learning stuff they have no business doing. Right. They get in the world and tell them, I didn't know, I was just reading about. It was the time yet. This woke us up, and I told you this. If you don't learn from this, walk around, don't be scared to ask. Right, right. Don't be scared to ask. I answer all questions. Like a lady would tell me. I do too. <laughs> well, I heard Jack Lee was a black woman. Well, you ready for this? In France, models got paid a certain amount of money. The lighter skin you was, the higher your money was. The darker skin you was, the lower your money was. They painted any color they wanted. It was just the body shape that they needed. Right. The black woman had one of the best body shapes. So that's why they put her in that silk grunge. So you don't really see it. Look at the hands and the face. But here's the clue. When she came to America, the nose showed you how she was black. They straightened it long, it doesn't fit the face. It's five inches, four, five feet, four inches out of place. That means they shortened the nose and lent it out so it looks white. You ready for what I'm about to show you now? You're looking at all the faces. Come here, watch this. 
That's the lead tag. This is the head tag. Uh. Drop. <laughs> of these five firefighters, which one is mine? She went right to it. She went right to it. Okay. What? Sure. They're all synced up with this. You see it in his face. Right, what? right. And I'm talking about the Latinos. What? He starts with me with the same way. And he came to it. <gasps> <laughs> no, 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 no. And it, in Brooklyn, they changed the nose. That's why I know. But if you look at their hands, those are working woman hands. Right? And it's working woman. Look at her feet. Working woman feet. Yeah. <laughs> so what woman you know get jackled up in America? Yes. But they realize oh, America was ready for that image. Yeah. You set black folks free. You broke the chains. Right. Out. All these guys came to realize this. There's certain parts in here that's part of the movie of Nicolas Cage, World Trade Center. Yeah. You ever watch that? So that's a learning thing too. But you realize this? There were guys you had in just a matter of hours. If you don't find them, it's up king. That's the low part of the mountain. So it's the tools of life. One of those break down. The city had five of them for each of them and one backup. And in 9 11, they used all of them. And one of them broke the holes. The fireman jumps in the ambulance and grabs the machine, drives off, comes back 20 minutes later, he went to an auto parts store, got the high pressure hose needed to fix that, and saved the person's life. Port Authority officer, one of the last ones to come out. If they didn't have that tool, they wouldn't have enough time, they wouldn't have made it. But that's knowing what he needed, how to go get it fixed, how crucial it was. Right. Oh, yeah, it was time. No one thought about that building coming down. Okay, well, we thank you for your knowledge. Thank you for listening. History, the living mystery. That's right, that's yeah. right. We thank you. Yes. Appreciate it. Stay safe out here. Yes. You can learn. So you do World Trade Center, man. Just Google it. So that's the guy I was talking to you all. Military.com. Just listen and learn. And the teacher said, you need to make a DVD. Why? Because some things in there you say is a rhyme, you'll never forget it. So what made you think about that? I said, one of the ways I taught my son about part of the history that seems so boring to him was to put in a rhyme. Right. And when it, it, it clicks in the head like a song, but it makes sense to you when you realize it's connected to history. Because you get a lot of kids, oh, wow, that's so easy to remember. Right, right. I said, but now you know a part of history that you'll never forget, and you'll tell your kids different things. Like on 9-11, I tried to tell you this. There's a bunch of black firemen who couldn't be firemen because of their color. Right. In New York City, he tried to break the rule with that, was our first African-American mayor in New York City. You know who he was? David Dinkin. And I tell you this, he put a lot of things in place, and we got it so easy the first two years, we put our laurels down. The next year was his election year against Rudy Giuliani. You know he lost, Rudy Giuliani won. Right. I give you, I make a Google, go, get out of here, I just, because we had it in the box, we had it on lock, but we said, oh, we got to make, and here it comes. Right. What? Yeah. Yes! Certified nerd. Take a drink and don't even think. Yeah. <laughs> you got it, what? I told you. This is this right here. These guys have no idea. Or the ones I tell the young ones, find me the fireman carrying an axe, a shovel, and a rope all at the same time. Oh, ain't any of them doing that. I tell them that's all the equipment you need. The axe, <laughs> shovel, and a rope. Most of them just have one tool. Those are called keys. The artist's name, sculpture Joseph Patetix. His father was a firefighter. He was scared of fire. So I tell you, yes, some people have a natural fear of fire. I was going to fight that fear being a fireman. He became an artist. And one of his major things is to do details. If you feel this, you can feel the ripples and everything. Right. And he puts all the original details back in this. Watch this. And he knows this. After 2001, they said no other fire department is going to get regular vehicles. They're all going to get SUVs. Even the government has to pay for it. Look at this crown fix. This is an antique. On 9-11, uh -huh. it was called the Chief's Car. But they all got SUVs now. Right. Her name was Betty Ann. She was the chief driver. She was the one who told us to go back into the car. But she said another plane just hit the other building. Right. Because the communication, what? Another plane just hit the other twin tower. It's like, oh, I tell them. Because a lot of people didn't know what's going on there. They were focused on the first tower. 
And the second plane comes from behind you, unless you get the idea to look around, you're looking at what's going on. Right. The second plane comes from behind. Okay, well, you have a good day. You too. Thank you for listening. History, only mystery. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you, guys. Bye.